بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ویلکم ٹو ورڈس کیمسٹری فرینڈس ان دس ویڈیو وی ول ڈسکس نور پائرول سینتھسس سو بفور وی موو ٹو ورڈس نور پائرول سینتھسس یو مسٹ نو اباؤٹ سم امپورٹنٹ تھنگس اور ٹرمس وچ وی ول یوز ان دی نور پائرول سینتھس اوکے ہیئر یو کین سی اٹ از آور الفا امائنو بیٹا کیٹو ایسٹر اوکے اٹ از اسٹر اٹ از این ایسٹر گروپ اوکے سو ہیئر یو کین سی دیٹ اٹ از الفا کاربن اٹ از بیٹا کاربن سو یو کین سی اٹ ایز الفا امائنو بیٹا کیٹو اینڈ ایسٹر سو ڈونٹ گیٹ کنفیوز ود دس سی او ٹو اتھائل اٹ از ایکچولی C double bond O O C two H five. So I have written uh, this whole structure in this form, which is CO two ethyl CO two ethyl. Okay. So do not get confused with this. It is actually an ester group. Okay. Ester group. So it is. الفا امائنو بیٹا کیٹو ایسٹر اٹس نیم از الفا امائنو بیٹا کیٹو ایسٹر اوکے ناؤ وٹ از دس اف یو ٹیلٹ دس اسٹرکچر ان یو کین سے اپ سائڈ ڈاؤن اور یو کین سے دیٹ ون ہنڈریڈ اینڈ ایٹی ڈگریز so it is one and the same thing but in this structure there is not a mino group okay so it will only a beta keto ester okay you can see that alpha carbon beta carbon so it is beta keto ester okay you can say it as a whole beta keto ester so now one thing that i always mention that if nitrogen is bonded with three other atoms so it contain a lone pair if it is bonded with two other atoms it contains a negative charge and if nitrogen is bonded with four other atoms so it contains a positive charge so these were some important terms or things that you must know before we move towards our main topic that is nor pyrrole synthesis so friends here you can see that alpha amino beta keto ester and beta keto ester as we have mentioned earlier okay so this lone pair of nitrogen will attack on this carbon okay this lone pair of nitrogen will attack on this carbon as a result of which this bond will break and shift on this oxygen okay so this nitrogen and this carbon will be connected with each other okay here you can see that CO2 ethyl as it is it is our ester group as I have mentioned earlier okay so here nitrogen these two hydrogens as it is and here C so one bond was broken so it will be shifted on this oxygen and uh, here CH3 as it is and remaining part will okay CO2 ethyl so now what will happen one hydrogen or you can say that one proton will remove and will be shifted on this oxygen which contains a negative charge okay so we will draw 
these reversible arrows okay on one side we will write plus proton and on one side we will write minus proton it means that one proton is removed and is added to this oxygen okay now watch it carefully some steps are very tricky so ch3 as it is ch ester group as it is which is co2 ethyl okay nitrogen as it is now one proton or you can say that one hydrogen atom has been removed from here okay so here one hydrogen okay and the second hydrogen will be attached on this oxygen okay so this will oh all right here ch3 as it is so remaining part will remain as it is okay co2 ethyl now what will happen this bond will break and shift here okay means this bond will break and shift between this nitrogen and this carbon okay as a result of which this bond will break and shift on this oxygen okay so you can understand that 1H and 1OH means one water molecule will be removed from here so here one water molecule is removed the remaining structure will be C double bond O CH3 CH and nitrogen now there is a double bond established between this nitrogen and carbon and uh, here ester group as it is and uh, here methyl group as it is and here C and ester group now this is CH2 so we can write it as in this way CH and H okay that is one and the same thing now this bond will break and will be shifted between these two carbons okay as a result of which one bond from here will break and shift on this nitrogen okay well i have removed some part from here because i don't have further place to write here okay so here you can see that this proton will be removed so arrow and uh, one proton has been removed so the remaining part as it is c double bond o ch3 and ch co2 ethyl which is ester group and uh, nitrogen now ch3 as it is now you can see that the bond which was broken will be shifted on this nitrogen as a negative charge okay and uh, here a double bond has been established between these two carbon atoms okay and uh, this hydrogen as it is and CO2 ethyl now we will do protonation here okay means we will add one proton so remaining part as it is C double bond O CH3 and CH here N here CO2 ethyl which is our ester group now we have done protonation so proton will be added on this nitrogen here as it is remaining part double bond ch and co2 
ethyl. Now, you know that when nitrogen is bonded with three further atoms, so it contains a lone pair. Okay. Now, here is a very interesting step. This lone pair will attack here. Okay. As a result of which, this bond or this pi bond will attack on this carbon. As a result of which, this bond will break and shift on this oxygen. In other words, we can say that a bond will be established between this carbon and this carbon. Okay. Now again, we have removed some part from here because I have very less space here. Okay. So, you know that a bond has been established between these two carbons. So, you can write it as carbon, carbon. Okay. This ester group as it is and uh, this hydrogen and this carbon here the remaining part as it is. The bond was broken and shifted on this oxygen. CH3 as it is. CH and uh, ester group as it is. And here you can see that a double bond has been established between this nitrogen and this carbon. So friends, now what will happen? We will do protonation, okay, plus proton. So remaining parts as it is, CH and here ester group as it is and uh, nitrogen, nitrogen double bond and CH3 here positive charge and uh, obviously here and CO2 ethyl and uh, here CH3 as it is but now as we have done protonation so this proton will be added on this oxygen so it will be OH okay so friends now again I have removed some part as you know that the space is very less here okay now we are very near to our final product. What will happen now? This bond will break and shift it between these two carbons as a result of which this bond will break and shift on this nitrogen. Okay. So we can write it as um, means you can say that uh, uh, minus proton. Okay. So the remaining parts as it is here OH, here CH3, here C and hydrogen, CO2, ethyl and uh, here NH and C double bond, sorry, C and CH3 and uh, the remaining parts as it is here CO2 ethyl and uh, you can see that a double bond has been established between these two carbons and now as nitrogen is connected with three other atoms so it will contain a lone pair okay now the final step is that this bond will break and shift it between these two carbons as a result of which this bond will break and shift on this oxygen means yes removal of another water molecule from here this H and this OH means one water molecule will be removed by creating a double bond between these two carbons okay so minus water molecule and C C CO2 ethyl means ester group and uh, double bond C, C double bond C 
nitrogen and uh, you can see that our final product has been obtained here's CH3 here's CH3 so friends in this way our final product which is substituted by role has been obtained by nor synthesis so friends you know that our final product has been obtained and we can also write it in its standard form which is here lone pair as it is CH3 here CH3 here ester group and here ester group and two double bonds so friends you can see that in such a simple way we have formed our final product which is substituted pyrrole i hope that you like this lecture for more interesting chemistry lectures and videos subscribe to our channel what's chemistry on youtube and press the bell icon thank you